Hello everyone, my name is Hannah and I'm from ProCandlesupply.com. A lot of people have contacted me with questions about how to make essential oil candles, so I decided to make a very introductory video on this. I personally have an essential oil candle line, so I've made a lot of these. I'll lay out some of the information and pros and cons on these types of candles to help you arrive at your own formulation. I'll show you at the end of this video how I made this essential oil candle right here. First and foremost, using pure essential oil to scent your candles is much different than using regular candle fragrance. You have to remember, pure essential oil is derived from the plant itself through an extraction process. It is pure, with no carrier oils, additives, stabilizers, or diluents. For example, when comparing pure lavender essential oil to lavender fragrance oil, the fragrance oil will contain a small portion of lavender essential oil, but it will also contain other synthetic additives and carriers to help stabilize the fragrance to have a very strong hot and cold throw. The pure essential oil candle and the essential oil does not have these stabilizers or additives, so you can expect your lavender essential oil candle to be much more subtle in scent. Everyone is different with their scent preferences though. Some prefer to have a very strong fragrance and some prefer a more light and natural scent. I personally love essential oil candles. I appreciate that the scent is coming from the plant itself. When I burn it, I feel like it has a very calming effect and essential oils have a lot of health benefits. Because the pure essential oils are not formulated with additives, creating your own essential oil candle line can take some experimenting. Every essential oil is different. For example, you're not necessarily going to use the same amount of lavender oil as you do with lemon oil. Also, some like to blend and experiment with different essential oil combinations to get different scents. The process of making these candles is fairly the same as making normal soy candles. There's just a few differences in pouring temperatures. Because there are not stabilizers in pure essential oils, you can't pour your fragrance at 185 degrees Fahrenheit. If you haven't seen my video on making soy candles with normal fragrance oils, check that out where I go through the process step by step for you. So to make an essential oil candle, you'll follow all the same prep steps. Weigh your soy wax out in your pour pitcher and place on a hot plate, double boiler, or wax melter and bring to 185 degrees Fahrenheit. Today I'm weighing out and heating one pound of 464 soy wax. Now your wax is 185 degrees Fahrenheit, and instead of adding the fragrance at 185 degrees Fahrenheit, you're going to set your pitcher of wax to the side and let it cool. Remember, your essential oil does not contain additives, so if you added it at 185 degrees Fahrenheit, it will likely burn off and evaporate, causing your scent to be very faint to non-existent because the wax is too hot. You need to let the hot wax cool some. Usually it's around 130 degrees Fahrenheit. Typically I wait until the pitcher is no longer super hot to the touch and the wax will begin to get a little cloudy. Now that it's cool, you can add your essential oil. It really is up to you how much essential oil you'd like to add. This is where the experimenting comes in. You'll have to try different percentages with each essential oil you're using to determine what amount you like the most. Today I'm adding 8%, so for one pound of wax, that is 1.28 ounces by weight of lavender essential oil. Whatever amount you decide to go with, it's extremely important to remember to stir your wax really well after adding the essential oil. If you don't stir it really well, the essential oil will not distribute evenly in the wax, and that can lead to the top of the candle igniting when you light it. This can also potentially happen if you use too much essential oil, so please be careful when making these. So because of this, always start with a low amount of essential oil. I'd recommend starting at around 4% depending on the oil you're using and work your way up as needed. Once the essential oil is added and stirred really well, you simply take your wicked candle container and pour as you normally would and you just let it cool. And 
And there you have it, an essential oil candle. These are easy and fun to make and a great natural alternative to normal fragrance oils. We carry all the supplies you need to make your own essential oil candles at ProCandleSupply.com. None of our essential oils are cut with carrier oils. You receive 100% essential oil. Remember that when you are buying essential oils, you should ask if they are cut with carrier oils. If they are, they're less strong and you'll need to use more than with 100% pure oils. And that's all. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or contact us directly. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos on making your own candles and soap.